Hello, Libra viewers. So I'm going to look into what the cards want to say. This could be about love, finances, career, psychic development, uh, just whatever the story is. Whatever they want to say. Fear of commitment. Isolation. Loneliness. Emptiness. Courage. Assertiveness. Board movement. Shyness. Fear of rejection. Loyalty, stability, vows. Domination, control. Publicity, social media. Toxicity, red flags, and hidden motives. Anger and miscommunication. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Clarify the sphere of commitment and this uh, loneliness and this emptiness here. Divine intervention, synchronicity. Third party karmic partner. Okay, what I'm feeling, I had to pause to look at this energy because this is a really weird reading. And I guess it's not too surprising because I've noticed that like earth, air, water, fire signs, like a lot of times you guys are in very similar energy. Like I noticed like like very similar energies. And with uh, Gemini, with an, another air sign I just did, I was getting that there's like a heartbreak coming for Gemini. It's like if they don't let go of something that's no longer serving them, like they're fighting for something and they think that they're about to... um. They, they've put some, some I don't know, just if, if you have Gemini in your chart, check that reading out too, because this is very similar energy. But I was just getting in that reading that, you know, your spirit guides are trying to protect you from heartbreak. Um, your spirit, like someone's spirit guides are trying to protect them from, you know, holding on to a karmic cycle that's ended. And I'm honestly getting very similar energy here. So I guess that's like a, a collective energy for air signs right now is being stuck in these holding on I shouldn't say stuck because it's like eight of swords it's like you're keeping yourself stuck but there's a karmic cycle that's ended and honestly what I'm getting here is that you're about to miss your ship and I'm sorry I know I know like the this the, I feel bad for my air signs because I don't know what this energy is like I feel bad that I'm giving you guys such harsh readings because like the other signs got pretty positive readings but like the Gemini reading was blunt it was like dude you're gonna you're going to end up heartbroken, wasting your life away if you don't let go of a karmic cycle. And like, this isn't, I mean, it's kind of intense too. It's, it's different. Like it's a different story, but and I'm sorry. I know you guys don't want to hear it, but I don't know who this is for, but it's, it's like this energy of like, don't miss your ship. Don't miss your ship because there's someone here that I'm just going to keep it real. There's someone here that does not give a flying fuck about you. There's, I hate to say it. I'm sorry. I know it hurts, but there's someone here. There's two different energies. There's a man that actually does love you. And there's a man that you, a man or a woman that you maybe have a history with, but they don't care. Like they're done with it. They, they don't give a shit. <laughs> And some of you are mixing their energies up. You're like, oh, this person cares. It's like they don't. They honestly don't. This is like a third party situation where like your person chose someone else over you or like they never had time for you. Like they were always putting you last. Um, and this is also a karmic energy where this person was like a karmic lesson for you. But they're afraid of commitment. But I don't even. God, I'm sorry because I know it's harsh. I don't want to do this to my Libra viewers, but it's, I'm, I'm getting, I'm hearing that it's not a fear of commitment. It's that they don't want to commit to you. I am so sorry. I hate, I hate that. I know it hurts you guys. I'm so sorry, my leap reviewers. I hope the next read is more positive for you guys. Um, I don't know who this is for, but I'm really sorry guys. But, but there's a really positive, hopeful message here too. I want you guys to know that. 
there's it's like a breakthrough energy where you actually have true love but that ship's about to sail if you don't get on that ship is what i'm saying here so let me get into it so you have someone like a karmic partner maybe someone this could be like a someone you have like a history with could be someone like an ex-wife ex-husband because i'm just getting that there, it's like it's like someone you have like like you've known this isn't like an old energy this is like i mean this isn't this isn't like a recent energy. This is like an old energy where it's like you guys have known each other a long time, I feel. You know, for most of you. I mean, I guess for some it could be like recent, like someone that was just kind of like wanting to get in your pants and like you kind of knew that, like you kind of felt like you were just a booty call, but like you didn't want to accept it. Like you were hoping that maybe sex would lead to something more and it just didn't. For other people, I feel like I, whatever the case may be, this person is not into you. I hate to say it so bluntly, and I'm so sorry, but your spirit guides want you to know that because they want you to have someone that is into you, and you have that here. You have a new start with someone else, but your ship's going to pass you by if you keep holding on to this energy. I had to pause because I was like, what the hell are the cards trying to say? It was such mixed energy that I had to, I had to pause. I was like, I don't even know what this means. And I channeled it and looked into it. And I'm like, okay, I can see because there's two different energies here. And I'm like, what the? Okay. Some of you are holding on to someone that's not like, yeah, they're afraid of commitment. But it's like they they specifically, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I know it's blunt. But I'm hearing that they specifically do not want to commit to you. Like maybe some of you are in denial and you're telling yourself your person you know, like you're, you're like a booty call and you're like, oh, this person's just been hurt a lot. They're just afraid of commitment. Like, I know I can get through to them and it's like, you can't, or this is someone that you have a long history with. And like, you're telling yourself like, oh, they, they're just upset or they're just, they're upset right now. They just have fears of commitment and it's not like that. It's like, they're, they, they don't want to commit to you specifically. And I'm sorry. I know that's blunt. I know that's probably really painful, but you need to know this. If this is your story, your energy group, and you know, you know, don't comment below saying, oh, this isn't my story. Because if it's not your story, then what what are you doing here? You know, like this is either your story or it isn't. Um, and maybe the next one will be for you if this one's not for you. But, you know, like don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. But I'm just getting here that someone's holding on to a karmic partner and they're going to they're gonna miss out on their true love. That ship's going to sail. This is like a warning. Your spirit guides aren't telling you this to hurt you. They're telling you this to let you know, like, this battle is over. Whoever this person is, they're, I'm so sorry, because I know it hurts. I know it hurts, but they're, they're just going to continue to just want sex. They're going to continue to cheat on you. They're going to continue to choose other people over you. That's not going to change. Some of you are thinking that you can get through to this person. If you just do this, if you just do that, and it's, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. That's just what I feel. Like this person, I hate to say it because it's so, it's so painful. I know for you guys, I feel for you guys. I'm sorry. Like, I'm really sorry. I just keep hearing like, because someone keeps telling themselves that like their person is like afraid of commitment or they're making excuses for this person. This person's like ghosting them, treating them like crap, just using them for sex or like not wanting to have sex with them. Like for some, if you've been with this person for years, it's like they don't want to touch you. And you're telling them, you're telling yourself, oh, they're damaged or they're depressed or they're going through this or they're going through that. You're making excuses, but this person hasn't given you reason to make excuses. You know what I mean? Like this person never said, hey, like I'm going, I love you, but I'm going through a lot. Be patient with me. This person never said that to you. They've just ghosted you, shut you out, detached from you, made it clear they do not care about you anymore. And you're telling, you're telling yourself these things. You're telling yourself this person's just been hurt a lot. This person's just, you know, damaged. This this person just needs some time or this or that. You know, you got to stop making the excuses because the truth is this person does not want you. They're, it's that simple. And I'm sorry for that. I know that's so painful. But like, it's beautiful at the same time because do you want someone that doesn't want you? Do you really want someone that does not want you? There's no emotion here. Like usually when I channel this energy of this card, it's like someone that's like damaged and hurt and afraid, like someone that's kind of like guarded. This is like, I see this man looking away. Like he doesn't even want to look at you anymore or she doesn't even want to look at you anymore. Like they're, they're over it. They're over it. If this was someone that you were messing around with, like sexually, like friends with benefits and you kind of thought that 
you thought that maybe their feelings would change. They, you came on strong and, and they're, they've detached. That's why they're not hitting you up anymore because they could tell they were feeling from your energy, like that you wanted something more. Like maybe this was someone you were sleeping with and like you would try to cuddle and you felt kind of weird. Like they weren't trying to cuddle with you or they weren't very affectionate. They weren't really physical with you. And now you know why. And it's not you. You know what I mean? Like that's just, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're worthless or anything like that. I mean, it just means that you're not for this person and they're not for you. You know what I mean? Like if you're honest with yourself, this person didn't make you happy either. You know what I mean? It was like a challenge and you kept holding on to it. But I feel like if you really are honest with yourself, you're going to realize this person was not for you either. This was a karmic partner. This was a third party energy. This was, um, for some, it was a third party. Where this person is in love or devoted to somebody else. And you were a side piece. I hate to say it like that, but I'm sorry. Yeah, that's just what I feel. Um, but I just get the sense of like, this person doesn't want you, but it's not a bad thing because this person's not for you. They didn't, they didn't find you. A, God, that's so harsh. What I'm channeling is so harsh to say they didn't find you appealing, but it's almost like, let's say that you're like outspoken or fun or adventurous. Like this person didn't like that, but like that doesn't mean anything bad about you. That just means that's not for you. You know what I mean? Why would you want something that's not meant for you? That's not where you're going to resonate. That's not where you're going to be truly happy. This other person though, that has their eye on you, they, they love the fun adventurous side of you. They do think you're beautiful. Some of these people, it's like they, you just were not it for them. I am so sorry to say it like that. And I'm so sorry. And again, if this, this is either your reading or it isn't. So please, if you comment below and say, this is not my reading, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to delete it because if it's not your reading, what are you doing commenting? You know what I mean? Like, and if you want to watch it just for fun, that's fine. I don't care. But you know what I mean? Like readers get kind of annoyed when people like are told what they don't want to hear and then they comment and, and argue that it's not for them. It's like, you don't, you don't need to argue this. This is either for you or it isn't for you. Um, and I'm sorry to say that, but it's just, you know, we get annoyed when we have, you know, people commenting on that all the time. It's like, okay, what are you doing here then? <laughs> um, but I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm, you know, those of you that have been with me for a while, you know that my readings are kind of blunt sometimes. And I'm so sorry to my Libra viewers, because I know some of you have been with me for a really long time. And I'm so sorry to give you this message. And this could be someone from the past. It could be someone that's from the past that's popping back up for a booty call with Mercury Retrograde. Like they're... They could be bored and lonely. And so this could be like a past person you used to fuck around with. And they're going to pop back up and be like, hey, you want to come ride on my D? And you're just like, or like, don't go for that. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't let some like it's icky energy. It's like F boy energy. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to let this person talk to you like that. This person doesn't care about you. I think that you saw something in them and you thought that if you if you just stuck it out, I get someone that's like holding on in the midst of a hurricane they're holding on to that you know there's like a rescue boat over here you know or, or rescue i'm getting my natural disasters wrong i think <laughs> okay okay just bear with me just picture like a flood and picture there's like this pole that you're holding on to and like the wind is blowing at you and everything's just chaos you're gonna get cut by all these things in the water around you and there's a rescue boat saying like hey jump in the rescue boat let's let's get out of here let's move on to the next chapter of your life that's your spirit guys waiting for you like let's let's move on from this come on and you're holding on to this pole you're like being stubborn you just you don't want to it's like you don't want to lose or you don't want to be alone or something and it's like you're you're gonna get yourself really hurt if you keep holding on to this pole and you don't let this go and get into the boat because you're you have true love you have someone that actually does not want to cheat on you this person wants to be loyal they want to offer you something and if you keep holding on to this this karmic partner that does not is not giving you the time of day you're gonna lose this other opportunity you're gonna lose this this is a loyal stable man this is this is someone legit I'm getting, yeah, some of you, it's like 
some of you are like, dude, like I haven't talked to this person in like six months, but it's like, you, little do you know, you might be getting a message during Mercury retrograde, like, hey, you want to mess around? And your spirit guides are saying in that moment, you need to have, you know, integrity, stay on your soul path, you know, don't, don't get wrapped up into this energy again, because you're lonely, you know, because they're lonely, this person might be lonely too, so they might be trying to wrap you back up into that. For others, I feel like this could be someone that you've known for a while, but they've chosen somebody else over you. The reason they're not talking is because they're they're with they're with someone else right now. They're like hanging out with someone else right now. I hate to say it, but sorry. You know, you gotta let go of the denial, or you're gonna get destroyed by this natural disaster energy you know what I mean like imagine that visual it's like you want to get in the boat or you want to hold on to this pole even though it you're you're gonna drown you know it's not gonna be good for you but yeah some of these people are just like hitting you up um because there's two very different energies here but this person doesn't care and you know this I think that you know this already I think that some of you told yourself like you made excuses like you made excuses like you might have made excuses for this person, like, they're just, you know, they just have a lot on their mind, they're just busy, like, you know, they never take me on dates, but, you know, there's, there's a reason for it, or, like, you know, they, yeah, they cheated, but, you know, I'm sure they're not going to cheat again, like, like, just excuses, and it's like, no, this person, there's, this person just doesn't want you, and I think that they don't want to hurt your feelings, um, or some of them, it's like, like I said, you're like a booty call for them for a few of you, just for a few of you. And it's like they hit you up when they're like bored and lonely, like they're like you want to mess around. But um, others, it's it's someone that like wants out of this connection, but they don't want to like. I mean, some of them, they've already chosen someone else or something else over you, honestly. They've already emotionally, mentally checked out. Some of you, it's like you're not together at all. But for others, it's like they're you guys are, are around each other, but they they're you know that they're t detached. You know that they've checked out. You know that they're they're not for you anymore. But honestly, the beautiful thing here, as painful as this is, it's like, like I was saying, do you want someone that doesn't want you? Like, why would you want that? Because you have this other other energy, this other man or this other woman that does want you. You know what I mean? Like this person doesn't didn't admire you. They didn't like the things that you like about yourself. That doesn't make you a bad person. You know what I mean? Like you are perfect for your true love, for your actual soulmate or your real twin flame. For a karmic partner, a karmic lesson, they're 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 going to nitpick. They're not going to, there's certain things they're not going to like about you. They're not going to resonate with you. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to feel it. They're, there's just like an incompatibility. And if you guys are honest with yourselves, I think that you guys didn't want to be alone. So someone held on to this out of loneliness, but this, this masculine's let this go already. He's moved on. I hate to say, I'm sorry, but he or she has moved on from this already. They're already over it. There's no getting them back. There's no convincing them. There's no, you know, whatever. It's, they moved on. They moved on. But you have another, and you have the divine intervening. Like, you, like the divine is coming in with this little rescue boat being like, dude, do you, do you want to waste your life away on this? And honestly, when you hold on to karmic cycles, sometimes your life gets really screwed up. Because you're going against the flow of destiny. You're going, you're holding on to things that are no longer meant for you. And it's just, it's not going to turn out well for you. I hate to, I don't know. I'm sorry, Libras. I'm sorry, guys. But um, you have someone else that's like watching you, though, that does admire you. This person actually does think that you're beautiful. This person does. I feel like for those of you like that were in a long connection with this person, like you, like you guys know each other for years, I feel like this person does not want you sexually. I hate, I'm sorry. They just don't. And some of you are telling yourself like, oh, they just, you know, they just, uh, they're, they're going through depression or they're going through this. It's like, no, they, they want someone else sexually. They just, they, you're not it for them, you know? And that, like I said, that doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't, it's just, you're not right for this particular person, but you're right for the person that's meant for you because you have this other energy that's watching you. That's like kind of afraid of rejection, kind of shy. Like this person actually does admire you. This person does find you beautiful or handsome. This person does think the world of you. 
this person is easily seduced by you. Like they're, you know, it's almost like the energy, like you wear lingerie, for, like if you're like a female and you wear lingerie or male, you could, I guess you could, you could be a male and, and wear, you know, whatever you could dress up, you know, whatever. But, um, it's almost like you wear lingerie for this person and they're like, they don't, they don't see, they're like, I'm going to play video games instead. No, thanks. Like, like, can you move? Can you, can you get out of the way? I'm trying to play my video games, you know? Or I gotta, I gotta go to work. Sorry. Like they, they don't, they, they just, they're not feeling it. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to hurt you guys too much more, but that the energy is not good here. It's not good for you. Um, this person though, you wear lingerie for this, for this man though. Ooh, you're gonna, you, ooh, you're gonna wake something up in him. You're gonna wake the beast up in this man. This per this man does want you. This male or female, this person does want you. You make them almost like stutter. Like you make them shy. You make them like you seduce them. You make them blush sometimes. I feel like they're this person's watching you. This person's loyal to you. This person wants a stable foundation with you. They want to make promises to you. Do they want to take this relationship to the next level? Um, they want to be loyal to you. Like I feel like this person might have cheated or they chose someone else over you. And this person wouldn't do that. This person would actually be loyal to you. This person would want you. You know, this man has integrity. Look at this sword right here. I get like the sword is, is sticking out um, strong here. It's like this man or this woman, like they have integrity here. They just, and they want you and they know that. But I feel like this person's tired of waiting because some of you are holding on to this. Some of them know about this and they're tired of you holding on to this and they don't want to wait forever. So this ship is going to sail if you don't jump on it. You're going to end up, I hate to say it, but you're going to end up alone if you hold on to things that are not meant for you. You're going to find yourself completely alone because like for one thing, I feel like I just get like this image. It's such a sad image. And I'm so sorry, guys. But your spirit guides want you to know this because they want the best for you. They're not trying to hurt you. They just want more for you. You know what I mean? But I almost see like this boat. Like remember I had that visual of like someone holding onto the pole or whatever. And it's like there's flood. Like there's debris in the water. It's murky. There's maybe monsters or like, I don't know, alligators or something. <laughs> I don't know. But there's like a boat over here. And your spirit guides are in the boat. And they're like, let's go. Come on. And the sad thing is, I also feel like everybody else is getting in that boat. Your friends and your family are not going to stick around for this. They're not going to stick around to watch you destroy yourself over somebody that doesn't love you. And this is for those, this isn't for everybody. This is just a message for a few of you that are really deep in this energy. But I see that like, like I'm getting like parents or something too. Like there's just, everyone's getting in this boat and this boat's leaving with or without you. You feel me? And I'm so, I'm sorry. That's so blunt. I know. But it's like, I just see this boat in this, this water with all this chaos, all this, this natural disaster or whatever. And it's like, your friends and family are getting in this boat. They're going to be protected from this. They're getting out of this energy. They're not, they're not being dragged into this drama with you anymore. They don't want to, some of you are like still telling some, like you're venting to people about this person, like about how they did this and that. And your, your friends and family are looking at you like you're an idiot. I'm going to keep it real with you because I, just to protect yourself, to protect your own integrity, to have some, some self-respect, just because I feel like some of you are venting to people about this and you've been venting for a long time and people are, are talking, like people are starting to think you're really kind of stupid. Like I hate, I hate, that's what I'm feeling. I am sorry. I know that's blunt and that's just for a few of that's not for everybody, but I feel like they're like nodding their head and agreeing like, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, sure. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he really, I'm sure. Yeah. He probably loved you. Uh, I, I gotta get to work. Bye. Like they're, they feel bad for you. They feel bad. They're talking to other friends or family members and thinking like, damn, when is she going to let this go? Or when is he going to let this go? Like they're, they're talk. They're looking down on you. They're talking about you. If this is your story and you'll know if this resonates, you know what I mean? So don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate, but it's almost like I see you venting and they're like, you can tell they're, they're checked out. You can tell, like, they're agreeing with you. They're saying, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Like, because you make them agree with you. For some of you, you make them agree with you. Like, you make them, you like, you, you push them to agree with you. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, you're insistent. You're like, I know he loves me. I know, you know, I know this is just a phase. Like, yeah, we haven't had sex in a year, but I know it's just a phase. 
And these people are like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, you can't, like, are you delusional? Like, what's, like, what's going on here? Like, they're, they're looking at you like you're, you're off, you know? But they're agreeing with you because you're insisting that they agree with you. And they, they want to avoid the drama. People don't want to stand up and say, like, no, you need to let this go already. But that's what all of them are saying behind your back. Friends, family, whoever, they're, they're like, dude, let it go. Like, and they're all getting in this boat and they're going to be, they're, they're getting out of this energy. They're not, they're not going into this energy with you anymore. They're, they've detached. They might listen to you and they might nod their head and agree with you, but they've detached. They're not, they're not invested in this anymore. They don't want to hear about it anymore. You know, I hate, to, I'm sorry. And I know that's lonely because it's like you want someone to talk to about it, but it's just like, this ended a while ago. You know what I mean? Like this is. Like, you know better. You know better. You, you feel, you know what I mean? Like, you know better than this. Because I just feel this boat. And it's so sad. It makes me sad because I love, I love my viewers. I love all my viewers. Like, and I know you guys are probably hurting right now a lot. And I know it's hard when you love someone. But it's just, it's like a sad energy. It's like that energy. It's just like protect yourself from more heartbreak. Because you have this, this boat here. Like I said, you're holding onto this pole and like there's, all this debris and chaos and muck and around you and dangerous animals and things flying at you and whatever. And you're being stubborn and holding on to this pole, holding on to this karmic cycle that's that's long wrapped up, long over. And you have a boat and, and everyone's getting out of this, this energy. Everyone's on the boat. Your spirit guides are on the boat. Your friends and family, they're all on the boat and they're all just like, dude, come on, let's go. You're gonna, you're gonna die here. If you stay, not, not, maybe not literally die, but like, you're, you're gonna, it's not gonna be good for you if you stay here, but they're not gonna keep waiting. This boat is going off without you soon. This, they, they're like, I see like a visual, like all of them are like screaming at you, like let go and swim towards the boat. Like, what are you doing? You're gonna, you're gonna drown if you hold on to this. You're not, you can't survive this. You know, it's, it's, why are you staying here? Why are you holding on to this? This, this place is a wasteland. We need to get out of here. And you're, you're being stubborn and it's like, you got to get on that boat. You got to swim towards that boat or you're going to get left behind by everybody. You're going to end up alone. And when I say alone, I mean like alone, alone. Like people are going to, people are already distancing themselves from you. And I know that's painful, but you have a chance to change it. I'm letting you know this not to hurt you, but you know, your spirit guides aren't trying to hurt you. They're trying to let you know this because you have a, a limited window of time when you can still change this, when you can say like, you can go to your family member or your friend that you always, you know, pour all your shit out onto. And you can say, you know what? I'm sorry. I haven't been there for you lately. I have been so wrapped up in this person that doesn't even love me. Doesn't even give me the time of day. I have not been attentive to what you're going through. Cause some of you have like parents or friends or, or whoever in your life, that are going through some shit right now and you're not really being there for them because you're so wrapped up in this person that doesn't care about you. And your spirit guides are kind of giving you a last chance here to make a change. It's like you can go to that that, you know, the parent or the the friend or the coworker or whoever these people are that are that are tired of this energy and you can say, "You know what? I'm sorry." I have been in my head too much. I've been in Eight of Swords energy too much. I've lost myself and I want to find myself. I want to take my energy back and I want to move forward towards what's meant for me. And I'm so sorry I haven't noticed what you're going through. Because some of you, I, I keep feeling like you have someone in your life, like a like a like another woman that you're close to that's going through a lot and you're not really there for her and she notices it. And she's she's going to cut your ass out, honestly, if you keep it up. I'm sorry. And I'm just, I'm warning. I know it's harsh, but I'm warning you so that you, you understand how serious this is. So you have the chance to fix this, you know, because they're, they're not hearing this anymore. They, they know this person doesn't want you. There's no, con you're, you can't convince them that this person wants you. You can't, you can make them tell you what you, what you want to hear because they don't want to deal with the drama, but they've detached from this already. And I don't know if you even know it. I think some of you are so in your head and so hyper fixated on this that you don't even realize these people have already detached. They've already given up on this energy. You're in this alone already. You're the only one pursuing this person still. You know what I mean? Like you don't have the support you think you have. And I'm sorry, I know that's harsh, but I'm just saying that you have some friendships and family connections here 
that you can, this is a really specific message. So I know this isn't for everybody and I'm sorry, you know, if you if you're like a regular Libra viewer and this isn't resonating with you, I don't know why the energy is so so crazy today, but um, but you know, check back. Like in a couple of weeks, you might get another message. You know what I mean? This might be for some specific Libras on this. This might not be my usual group of Libras. I'm not sure, but I'm sorry about that. But um, but yeah, it's like I feel like you know your your spirit guides are kind of saying like you've already lost this person. You lost this person a while ago, you know. But you still have a chance to save certain friendships and certain family connections. Because I just I keep getting like a certain woman that's like noticing, like maybe she has poor health or she has some stuff going on and you're not really there for her. She is there for you a lot. Like you pour everything out on her. You vent to her and you, you force her to agree with you. But you're stressing her out, honestly. And I'm feeling like she's close to just shutting the door on you. Whoever she is, I don't know, it's probably for someone specific, but she's close to just shutting the door on you. So if you keep holding on to this, you're gonna end up alone. Like you're gonna you're gonna lose friends, family. Um so it's just a warning here. It's just like your spirit guards are trying to say, hey, like they're trying to intervene here and be like, dude, like don't don't lose everything for someone that doesn't love you. You know what I mean? Like don't don't hold on to you can you want to stay here and drown by yourself all alone when everyone else goes off in the boat like going off you know to safety to happiness to living their best life or do you want to get in the boat with these people and leave what's what's leave the past in the past you know because I just get someone that's like you haven't it's like a female energy I just feel like you haven't been there for her and she's been there for you a lot and she's really close to just shutting you out I hate to say it but it's what I feel um so there's a warning here. Don't don't put yourself in a position where you end up completely alone just for this. It's not worth it. Because I'm feeling, okay, so there's someone, let me get into the love reading really quick. I know this run, went on for a while. Sorry about that. Um, and I, as always, if this is your reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. My email is below in the description box below this video so I can go more in depth into, um, you know, whatever you want to know. Whatever you'd like to know about. But um, any, do any donations are appreciated. They really add up quickly. My donation links are below. Please subscribe, like, share if this resonates for you. But I want to say the beautiful thing is if you let go of this, that you can save these friendships. You have one last chance to save this this connection that you have with this woman and other friendships too because your your people are distancing themselves. They're emotionally detaching from this energy, from all of it, from all the drama. And I don't know if you even notice it. Like, I think you're so in, your, some of you are so in your head and you're so fixated on something that you're not even noticing that the people around you are distancing themselves from you. So it's kind of like a warning, like, hey, save these friendships, save these. There are people that do love you and this person is not it. They, they, this person doesn't love you, but there are other people around you that do love you. So don't lose them over someone that doesn't love you. You know what I mean? Like you have one last chance to fix this. Um... There's also a love connection that's, I don't, they're, they're, they might give up too because they're afraid of rejection and they, they want you. They want a commitment with you. They want loyalty and stability with you, but you're like, you're over here trying to control or dominate someone. It's like, what is this energy? I see jealousy here. We have like publicity, social media, red flags, anger, beauty, mystery, enchantment. It's like. Some of you, it's like a third party that you're competing with, but it's like you're not accepting that your person chose this other person. There's nothing you can do. This person loves them. You know what I mean? Like, I hate to say it, but it's true. I guess this could be someone that's stalking your Facebook or your Instagram and you're getting wrapped up into the drama. Maybe this is a, a woman that's trying to wrap you up into the drama and you keep getting into these pet, this petty drama. Whatever the situation is, there's someone that's stalking here. And... Because they're jealous of someone's of someone else's energy, beauty, mystery, enchantment. The thing is, this is I think this is a specific message for those of you that your person chose another person, or like the person you thought was your person ended up being a karmic and they chose their true love over you. I feel like why would you want to be her? You know what I mean? Why would you want to live someone else's life and, and have to be in that fake energy? 
You know what I mean? Like, don't you want to be, don't you want to be yourself with the right person? Isn't that much better? You know what I mean? Like, you're never going to be too much for the right person. You feel me? Like, but let me see what's going on with this, this male energy. Cause he's getting frustrated. Whoever this is, this is somebody that wants to start a future with you. Wants to this, like, you know, this person has feelings for you. They're seduced by you. They, they're all over you. And they want to start a future with you, but they're kind of like watching from the sidelines. Like, damn, is this, is she ever going to get it together? Like, is she, you know what I mean? Like, is she ever going to get this together? Yeah, you're going to end up in a situation where you have to apologize to this person for getting wrapped up in old soul contracts that are, that are outdated. Like, you think that you're not going to lose this person and this person's going to just surprise you one day and be like, dude, like, I... I've loved you for years. I am sick of hearing about your ex. I'm sick of waiting for you to, to end that marriage. I'm sick of waiting for you to move in with me. I'm sick of waiting for you to start a life with me. I'm sick of being on the sidelines. I'm sick of being chopped liver. And you're going to end up in a situation where you have to apologize and get on your hands and knees to win this person back. And you don't see it coming either. I think most of you are like, no, like I got this person. We're good. Like, no, they're, they're watching and they're getting impatient, but they do love you. They actually, this person actually does love you. This person actually does want you. Could be someone that makes a lot of money or someone that's, um, that you work with or something or something like a coworker. There's, there's sexual energy here too. So it's like, if the other person was not wanting to have sex with you, this person is like, you know what I mean? Like this person like does, this person is seduced by you. Hmm. Yeah, it's like you want someone that's stagnant that doesn't want you, or do you want the adventure, the honeymoon, the vacation, the, the true love with your actual person? You know, I feel like this could also be like similar energies. Like maybe you guys are both um like maybe the person that left you is more focused on love. Like they're more like they're more love oriented and you're more of like a hustler, like you're more about like money and or you know. Or whatnot. Like, there's just, like, more of a similar energy here between you guys. You feel me? Whatever it might be. Or it could be the opposite. It could be, like, you're more about love and the other person that you left behind was more about money or whatever. Um, but it's, like, you're going to notice the energy difference if you get out of the stagnation. You have, yeah, this person is your true love. This person is your potential life partner. But you're going to lose them because they're sick of the drama. They're sick of you holding on to something that's long-ended. Yeah, and this might come in quickly. Like I said, there's a, there's a warning here. Because someone is kind of pausing right now. This this male or female is kind of pausing and they're like, dude, like, I don't know if he or she is ever going to end that marriage. I don't know if he or she is ever going to move in with me. I don't know if he or she is ever really going to officially start things with me. They're just breadcrumbing. Someone feels like you're breadcrumbing them. And they're going to pause and they might make a hasty decision during the retrograde to, to take their power, their strength back and their confidence and just leave you. They might just be like, you know what, I'm I'm tired of this. And it's really sad because the other person like does not give a shit about you. But this person actually does. This person actually is your true love. This person actually is a potential life partner. This person is someone that would admire you. Like, look at this this couple. They're like, they're the same, the same energy. You know what I mean? Like this person is someone that would want you and accept you and love you and desire you sexually, emotionally, romantically on all levels in ways that this other person just never did. You know, I don't think it was ever there with that other person. Like I'm not getting the energy of someone that like was deeply in love with you and fell out of love. I'm honestly getting the energy of someone that never loved you. And I know that's harsh, but that's just what I feel like. I'm getting the energy of someone that just wanted sex the whole time or like they they like stuck with you out of obligation or something for a long time. But then eventually they're like, you know what, this, I don't even want to, I don't feel obligated anymore. I'm out like this. You know what I mean? But this person, this other person actually does want, you know, everything with you. They want, and this is a potential life partner, but you got to decide you want to keep holding onto the karmic cycle and you want to have this boat leave you behind and you can drown in this debris or, you want to get on the boat and leave the karmic cycle behind and be with the person that does actually want you and does actually love you, you know? Yeah, this person that you're, you've been nostalgic for, they're, they're guarded. They're, you know what I mean? Like, they're cold. They're, they, their vulnerability is elsewhere. 
yeah, they they have a new life, a new perspective that they've already, yeah, they're 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 coming, they're with someone else already. Honestly, for a lot of you, they're already with someone else. They've already moved towards their destiny, and I think you guys should probably do the same, or you're gonna get left behind. I'm sorry, I know it's blunt, but anyway, I hope you guys appreciate the the energy at least, the reading. I know it's harsh, I know it's painful, but it is in your best interest. Like your spirit guides are just trying to warn you because. Like I said, they, they don't want you to lose everybody and you're you're on that path. It doesn't mean it's coming tomorrow, but you're on that path where you're going to lose this this other man or this other woman that does actually love you and does actually want a future with you. Um, you're going to lose that, you know, family member or friend because people are just they're tired of this. They're tired of this energy. I'm sorry. I know it's blunt, but but I really love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And thank you. Thank you for watching me. I know my readings are blunt sometimes, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. Thank you guys so much for watching.